I'm not going to do a very short tutorial with yours truly. I'm going to do a tutorial I'm going to think about lo fi. But just to cover this, might help you out. There's a lot of plugins in the market that you can get that vinyl crackle. Some are even free. But as we found, a lot of these will just take over your entire track. Any audio you bounce out from the pattern, the audio could end up being corrupted by this. But it's okay to still be there, but once that sound like adds up, it's going to completely mess up your mix. It's harder to use. So maybe it'd be better if you have something that'll end. Because it won't really affect the other tracks, but it'll only be there when you play it back. And that's an important thing. So I'm going to show you the trick I use. Start off with a drag a hi-hat into the channel. Or into the channel hat. And make a little pattern here with the piano roll. What the heck? Or the wrong thing, that's why. Okay, so it sounds like this. Okay, you can hear that that's a thing on that. We're not using the sound. This is just a filler, basically. What we'll do is take the velocity all the way down. Okay, then we're going to make it go across all four bars. So let's duplicate it. It's a pain in the butt to do it this way, but it works. Okay. So we got that. Oh, we added that. We're just going to call this C. The crackle or cookie. So enough for me. So, yeah, so we got that. And the channel, right? We'll just put this on channel two. Or insert two on the mixer. So in the mixer, set this up. Okay, here is the next step. The mixer that I'm just going to use, Somatis Origin. That is a free plugin. This is pretty good. Just find a Okay, we'll go with the vinyl. The vinyl preset. I don't hear it though, what's the deal? I need to play this all. Yeah, you hear that when we hit play? So I guess this will work this way, but I mean, other plugins that don't, but anyways, I'm just going to show you something neat. Even if you don't have the issue of it, it will take the whole track. It's kind of cool just to make the sound effect. We have the track, so we put that in. Which sounds like this when it plays back. All right, we still want that. What I do is we down here, this is already selected. Control Alt C. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna hit this and it sounds like off for a minute, but I'll talk about it now. Okay. So now we just went through and we can delete this. Control all oh, oh excuse me. Just alt delete. All right. Did shift. Control delete. We delete that pattern. All right. So we get rid of that. Now we can go over here and just get rid of it. So delete. Okay. So we haven't been the plugin, but you still hear the sound. Yeah, that's. Nice.
That's what we have. Okay. Follow the ball. So let's add this all the way. Oh, snap. <laughs> Sitting over this guy. Okay. This is what the beat that I'm set to be. Sounds like without it. Oops. Yeah, it sounds like without it. So yeah, that's uh, a nice little video about that. Um, this would be useful for if you have to make the sample packs. There's a lot of, there's not a whole lot of vinyl samples. I mean, there's quite a few, but you can make custom ones. Um, I'm sure there's more advanced ways to do even more stuff like that, but that's just a quick thing of what I do. So yeah, I hope this video uh, maybe helped you out. And if you check out more, be sure to hit me up on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, cool. And we'll catch you. Well, much love. And peace to you. I will catch you on the next video later.